Hey guys, welcome back. We are going to be doing some more fabrication on the turbo manifold for Project F here. So last time you saw we got the passenger side all done. We finally got the remaining piece that we needed. It was reducer, yeah, the yeah. reducer. Now that we have that, top two. and you got some wastegate piping. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the driver side manifold just like we cut the passenger side. And we're going to, from there, connect the two together. And we don't got tons of time today because I had to replace the exhaust manifold gaskets on my Mustang. I don't know if I'm over here. Yeah, it was it was leaking a little bit, so I had to replace that. That took a long time because of a little bit of complications. Now we're gonna go ahead and do this. Hopefully, get that cut. Basically, just knock it out really fast. Yeah, hopefully. we'll go from there, and uh, it should be easy. Where's that other pipe we had? The the UJ. Oh, it's in over here. Here we are. So yeah, we're yeah, gonna make a replacement, so. 90 and whatnot off of it. Yeah, we're probably gonna cut this right here and then see how well it fits to that and go from there. Cool. We're gonna cut some things, so it's gonna be yeah. the fun part. Hopefully uh, this one does, I cut out a lot of us struggling, but uh, hopefully this- Yeah, this is awful. Together. Yeah, I hate this thing. This is one of the, well, not last cuts, but one of the last hard ones because all the other pieces are gonna be Pipes. Once it starts vibrating, those clamps come right off. Yeah. There we go. I tried putting a little oh, bit wow. more force at the end. The clamp actually did like decent. Yeah, I tried putting a little bit more force at the bottom of it to make it a cleaner cut. Pretty nice. That looks, that looks decent. That looks actual straight, so that's good. That's what we needed. Oh, uh, we're the... I need one more exhaust bolt. Here. God, I'm so hungry, guys. All I've had is some cheese crackers today because I'm on a diet. Some nut thins. And then we're about to go to uh, the Korean the barbecue. barbecue and get fat as hell yep. because of, we're celebrating his birthday. That was like freaking three weeks ago. It's yep. all good though. Ow. What happened? Sharp? Scratch myself. On that? Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> Oh, we can actually see inside this thing now to see how oh, bad the, how ooh, bad the you're right. pipe is welded together. Where's my flashlight? God damn it. Well, well, I they mean. They couldn't get it to any of this. They didn't back oh, yeah. it either. Nice. Oh, we might want to be careful. There's a bunch of metal shavings. We don't want that to go in the head. Oh, oh no. it wouldn't because you had to go up in, so yeah. nah, that's fine. But it is pretty much just as bad in there. Yep, you, you saw it, guys. It's messed up. So we'll get the other side on and we'll kind of measure how long it needs to be. Yeah. And then we'll be able to get this guy welded to it. Just like that. Oh, I almost dropped it. Just like that. That actually fits pretty well. I thought it was a little bit bigger. And then we'll probably be able to get the V-band on and then I'm have hoping we can off. get the V-band on after that. Yeah, but, I do. Uh, I do too, hopefully. Yeah, we're checking this and it sits like inside uh, of it. It doesn't fit very good. So we would have to weld it from the inside, I think. That sucks. Which I would kind of be a little bit irritated. Yeah, like... It barely fits. Alter barely fits. Alternatively, we can get some extra pipe. Like, I don't know where I actually went. This one, this guy right here. Add just a little bit of length to it, like that, and then have that True. little section in the V-band. True, we could cut like a very thin section. Probably not of this pipe in particular, because it looks like it's bent from us clamping it. Yeah, we'd but have to do again, it from the other stuff. It might not be a big deal. But yeah, we could do that. I think what we're either going to do is we're probably going to throw that manifold back on and see how much we needed to take off. We God damn it, where'd that UJ go? I don't know. You were just holding it. Right, I know. Right how did I lose it already? We should just probably cut it like right here and then go from there because it's like it's so hard to actually like kind of measure what you need when it's all like a pipe Together. shape like this. Yeah. You know? So you might we should probably do that while we're cutting. Like we just said, we need to get the other side on, but we'll get our measuring tape and kind of measure how long it needs to be and where the 90 is going to end up. Also well, coming together. Hey guys, let's just let's just do it like this. And yeah. Then, and then we'll go. Does this we'll, fit we'll inside? Loop. Yep. Oh my goodness! There you go. Now we can just weld around it. <laughs> no restriction there! Yep. But yeah, we need to uh, kind of figure out how to get from A to B with that over to it. So yeah, we should definitely cut this off first and then we can cut this to length however yeah. short we need what it. What we could do is we could cut this and then cut it right here. You, like throw away this 90 to use or keep later. It, yeah. Like not actually throw away and then just cut this. And that's probably all the length that we'll need with this guy. Yeah, it's more than enough. But. 
we'll have to measure that probably before we cut that. And this is going to be yeah. such a pain. When All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and clamp this dump down somehow. And we're going to struggle. And we're back. Yeah, we got four pieces here, guys. So we got the reducer, we got a little extension, we got the V-bands, and we got the 90. And then when you put it all together off the manifold there, it pretty much exactly matches up with the other collector. So it's not gonna be about like nine inches that we need right. of added length. Actually, put it up to it. There. That looks really good. And then we need this bellow in here. Oh yeah, we'll figure that out. And then that will just go on the end of this. This could guy. do it right off that. I wanted to take it not so close to the water pump, but I think it really matters. I don't know. So yeah, that's even less length. Well, than yeah, we could always move it here if we wanted to do more cutting. I'd rather not, honestly. Yeah, uh, the thing that we're using to cut it, not great for this application. But we should tack this all together, and then we can, at that point, connect the other two, and then kind of be done for today because we're kind of running out of time. Honestly, I'd be impressed if we could actually get that all in one piece. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we're going to go ahead and clean off the welding table and kind of tack these all together. And hope I don't mess anything up, but we should be all good, I think. Should be good to go. All right. My helmet sucks. I can't even adjust it. There we go. Oh, it's still messed up. Whatever. We got first tack done. That first tack looks pretty <laughs> good. Burnt this freaking tape. Oh no. Tape. We'll clean that the up. The finish of our pipe is never going to be the same. Yep. You're right. You got that right. Got a little bit of a clearance issue. That's fine. Oh boy. Hey, little... the weld will take care of that. I can see the clearance issue, but you know what? Yep. Nothing a weld can't fill. Second tack on there? Yep. Hell yeah, all right. Now to tack the V-band. Oh yep. yeah, I can see the, the bend in that pipe is creating like a, I don't want to yeah. touch that. Turn it real quick. Turn more. Yeah, you can see it right there. That was that's yeah, a little dent, but that's, that's fine. We can yeah, it. that pipe had a dent from where we clamped it, but that's fine. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and- All right, you, you do your thing. That was annoying. So what happened? Problem with this welder, like I've already mentioned so many times, is uh, you, it's like a scratch start and it's really shitty scratch start. So it literally just arcs itself immediately as you touch it. So I weld the tip to the tungsten to it. And anytime I went to move it, it would just pick up the piece and I oh. couldn't actually oh, lift off. That's what was happening. Yeah, I figured that it was welding itself to yeah. uh, the piece. So uh, I think if I just had maybe, none of this is freaking magnetic so i can't not really... even a reducer it's stainless too oh yeah. that's right we put did some, my st hey some there weight you go. on top of it <laughs> and then put the magnet under that if you need no that's stainless too as well oh it's whatever that everything work. we buy is stainless yeah the, we we know what that stainless slaps about yeah expensive <laughs> yeah Sorry. That's all right. Okay. That one looks good. Yep. Can you hear Isaiah, that boy? Yeah, Isaiah's getting angry at Overwatch. That boy don't act right. It's kind of hot, but there we go. One piece. And you can see all bueno in there. Oh, we didn't deburr that. What the hell? What happened? Uh, well, I guess... We can still deburr it. Yeah, that was the top. Mm. But uh, now that we got this flute, whatever, it does look lopsided now I'm looking at it. Oh wow, that's very lopsided. It wasn't because it was... Uh, I think it's because the centerpiece, this side, was a bit taller than this side. Oh, well, yeah. I well, hope that well, doesn't create an issue, but it won't be an issue we can't solve. Right. Hot. It might work to our favor. Yeah, it might. That actually looks pretty good. Yep. Honestly. So now we'll just need to kind of tape this together and then tack on this. And then this will be one piece. Uh huh. And then we can work on this. Do we want to do that right this second? Well, uh, might as well. Yeah, just take All right, I'll take the bolts off. Yeah. All, All right, guys. Boy. We will be back once we do some more welding, getting this thing on there. 
<clears throat> the hell yeah. I know I didn't put it all this tight. All right, guys, we'll be right back uh, to weld this on. Just want it before we continue, I guess. Uh, ask that you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video. Helps YouTube promote it if you like it. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Oops, sorry. E. I did it again. I touched the freaking. Look Ooh, how bad it burned. I mean, that boy. was the old burn from last weekend, but I did it again. I touched it. You lose, there's literally like three burns. I know. Here. Well, I those aren't burns. Well, they could be scrapes, scratches. But that me. that one and uh, there was that one right there. But you have char on you. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know if that's grease or char, but. Well, you need to quit doing that. No. That looks like some kind of cartoon gun. Yep. Now, this one really looks like the cartoon gun given the. Uh, See the V-band? Yeah. Well, the V-band and like the... The reducer kind of... Yeah, it does. Your pew. All right. Now let's get another tack on there. I want a new welder. Yeah, you do. Well, I want my new welder. I already got one. Yeah. It's it's funny. It's too bad that you sold that shitty one because then we could have said we had three. Yeah. This thing looks awesome. Like, I, I'm really happy how it came out with, like, the whole, you know, re reducer and everything. And then the V-band off of it. I'm glad we didn't just V-band, or put the V-band right on the reducer. It's yeah. Just, it'll be better overall. It looks shitty. It looked like it, like you would have had to add a lot of weld to get it to seal. Yeah, uh, it doesn't look perfectly straight, but... Nope, it's not. We will... Well, actually, from... So, it's actually going to be off like that, and that does look straight now that I'm looking at it. Like, it's going to be off the header like that. It's pretty decent. So now that that's all together, this is all one piece, you know, good enough to kind of mock up everything. We're going to yeah. go ahead and now with the 90, wherever that is, uh, figure out the angle that we need for there and then put the bellow on it. And then last piece to that. And then we'll be done with this. Yeah, we've got a uh, 6% battery, but I think we can do it. We got another one. Yeah, we do. We got another one somewhere. All right. We'll be back when we have a little bit more progress than that. All right, guys, we jumped ahead a little bit because we just had to really get this thing done. We're running out of time. It's yeah, actually yeah. the time we need to leave. We're all trying to go to dinner <laughs> yeah. with our friends, but, so, you know, we're in here doing this. Look at that. That looks awesome. So what it's we were still, able, still, yeah, still hot. Yeah, we were able to get everything lined up how we need to. And what was great for us noobs is this flex bellow is allowed to move a little bit. It might be hard to pick up on camera, but that gave us a little bit of movement. We needed to be able to line up this pipe here. So we'll be able to tack or fully weld all of it together. I might just on some free time tack more of these just so it's a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. But with this side being tacked up kind of fully, it's, you know, strong enough to hold up everything. Yeah. It's doing its job. That looks really cool. Like, I'm really happy with, with how this actually turned out. Uh, the only thing that we're going to have to do additionally oh, yeah, is drill the hole and then put just a little bit of pipe. Got to lay, lay some pipe. Yeah, look at this. If, I don't know if it will have enough for both of them or what we're going to do. We might need to buy another one, but if we have, you know, wastegate right off this, we can do like like that. I didn't even think about using that as for like the exhaust of the well, wastegate. Oh, you're using just for the flanges? I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So yeah, that's, this is what I thought. It was just a flange, but okay. like I... I actually have no idea the diameter that exits the wastegate, but yeah, we, we put that like probably right there, like the older, the other one, but like not kind of like retarded looking. Yeah. You know how it's like it. That one looks like it's like this. This one could come off like that, and it would look really good probably. Um, as long as our cutting skills are good. Yep. But uh, what's what's really cool is just like the the photo that I made of it. You know, it looks exactly like this. So the top down image of like the whole thing. You know, we had the reducer to the v-band to the uh 90 to the bellow and then on this side kind of the, just the off angle cut yeah let me see that real quick like just another recap like here hold diff davis you know we had to cut and reuse this pipe kick it back that way and then uh you know oh wait we also uh welded a new v-band on there and then like you guys just saw you know we got the reducer over here we cut it right after that rudder Add that little piece of pipe in that V-band. 
this 90, like, this is all new material. So, yeah, like, everything we, past the headers there, like, right there. Yeah, I don't know if it. you guys can see that, yeah, but, right like, we're cut it, and right there, all of this is new, I guess, except for the collector. Yeah, and, like, this is, is new, but it's, like, it was stuff that we cut out that we reused. Yeah. So, and then new, all new V-bands, so we didn't keep the other V-band, though it's still there that we could reuse if we wanted to in the future. I don't see anything wrong with it, but, mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, look how good this looks. Yeah, I'm really happy with how that turns out. Like, um, it looks so well, good. We had the time to do this today. And... We have so much more room between this and the motor. This was coming in within like and our an inch or less. Actually fits. And the exhaust fits. Like this was gonna this was coming into here. Our friend Garner, more boost, was telling us to pike cut this. And I thought that could be a possibility. However, there's there was more than one advantage to move this left and, and away from the engine. Yeah. So we felt like we just wanted to do that and that solved our issue alone. Sorry, I just want to try to That's okay. bend this back in here. But yeah, it. it looks so good. Yeah. I'm really happy that we I was just going to adjust this so it came up a little bit more. But... Oh, I see. And then I also see that there's like a little gap right here because like I think the pipe moved a little bit. It's not perfect, we'll but it. definitely can be filled. Yeah, for sure. So uh, yeah, we are going to... We're getting hurried by our friends because yep. we're we're all famished. Oh, Me and Davis have not eaten all day, so we're yep. especially hungry. <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna end it here, guys. So uh, yep. yeah, do the outro things, Davis. All right, here let's stand in front of the engine because yeah, it looks so pretty now. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching so much. I'm happy we're finally able to get like the whole exhaust fabbed up. Just waiting on my uh, new welder, and then we can weld everything back up. And uh, I guess next time we can just continue with the downpipe there. But yeah. I want to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel and like the video. Liking the video helps YouTube push it. So if you did like the video, leave it a like. Check out some of our other videos. I've got a bunch of other stuff. And the last couple of videos have been doing amazing. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. So we'll see you in the next video.